Good morning guys, welcome to Lost Phoenix Gaming, the home of tips, tricks, guides and tunes for Forza Horizon. And who fancies a Lambo Venino? Yep, you can get one for free this week by going into the Super 7. And I'm going to go into some of this stuff and you just go into Super 7s and it comes up just random challenge cards and you can swap them out. You can pick different ones if they're a bit too challenging. But I'm going to just try and run through them all. So I've got this first one now. And fast travelling over. And it's all about the 6x6. And it's all about climbing apparently. Okay. This should be an interesting one. So I'll let the season change over. And I've got the Velociraptor. Yeah, the 6x6. Climbing 6x6. Right. Get to the destination in the Velociraptor in under 3 minutes flat. Okay, loads of barriers, loads of obstructions, and yeah, the road's basically blocked. So you've created some kind of mess here, but I'm just going to go, you know what, forget it. I'm not taking your parkour route. I'm not taking all your building stuff. I want to do this to speed because I want to get through this and get a Venino. So I've gone wide, completely skipped all of that rubbish. And I'm just doing a straight cross-country run over to a finish line. This should not take long whatsoever. I've got a three-minute target. And remember, when you guys do this stuff, you will get something totally and utterly different. You won't get these challenges. You will get a random allocation. And it is just a case of going and get it, do those challenges. There's a little glitch here in the game. There you go. You can drive through a wall. Right, that's been in since day one, never been fixed. But if you get challenges which are too difficult or ones that you struggle with, you can always just say swap it out and pick something a little bit easier. But I've completed this one. This is all right. I wasn't messing around with the ramps and whatnot. I thought let's just cut out straight cross country and no messing about. But I will like that one because. They've put a lot of effort into building those ramps. I'm not going to bother with them, but that person has put a lot of effort into building that stuff and putting that together. So I'm definitely going to hit a like for them. So we're going back. It automatically loads. And I've got Speed Demon hit 372 kilometers in Machiron. Okay. That's not too bad. I don't mind speed trap stuff. Some of them's a bit silly we have to drive halfway across the map just to hit a speed trap but the straight run traps aren't too bad so let's have a go at this and if i didn't like it i could always swap it out for something different but i'm gonna give it a go and hopefully within sort of the next 15 minutes or so i'll have a venino which is quite a nice car it is available on me auto show but it is pretty expensive i think it's about four and a half million credits so if you haven't got it or you want one to sell and make a bit of a profit on this is definitely a good way to do it because every week you get a new prize on the super seven so when the season changes always go into your super seven and have a look what's up for offer it was a windows xp horn last week and i didn't do anything with that because one i've got it and two it just didn't bother me, you know, it just didn't sort of appeal to me because I've already got it. But this time you've got a Venino, which I have got, but I can put this up on auction pretty cheap. I can have a tune of it and have a look. But this one is just a straight run. I like these speed trap ones. I like the jumps. Anything that gets too complicated and silly and takes too long, I tend to skip. And I've messed that one up completely. So let's hit the rewind on that. I don't want it to rewind too many times on this stuff. But that's pretty much a straight run now down to the camera. So 233, I think it was. That's not going to be a problem in this car whatsoever. And definitely doable within my time. So I did this for about nine seconds to spare. So that's completed. That's the second one. And get a few credits. Got some influence. Influence does vary depending on how popular the card is. That's the way I always try and just hit a like on stuff. 
because it does give it a bit more popularity, does give people more influence rewards for it. The only time I hit a dislike is if something annoys me so much or I just think it's so bad that I'll just dislike it because it is just, this is crap, basically. It's crap, it's annoying, and um, quite frankly, it does my head in. But I would say 99.9% .9 of the ones I do of these, I do end up hitting like on because even though I do get certain ones, I go, I'm not messing around with ramps and stuff like that. I could just go round. I respect the fact and I appreciate the fact that somebody's put a lot of time and a lot of effort into making that. And there are people who love that sort of stuff. So I'll definitely want to support people like that. And this one, number three. Right. It's in Spanish, isn't it? But basically, you're in the cyberpunk car and you've got a race to the destination. Okay. Right. Eight point three kilometers on that one and it doesn't seem too bad just a case of race to a destination two minutes six as a target and it is looks to me just like a run down to the end of a motorway and coming down here i'm gonna completely cross the island when it says cross the island right on your sat nav it normally means go round but i've just crossed it and yeah, I think that is actually the end of a motorway by the look of it. So I'm just going to keep in a straight run and just keep going with it. It looks like it's trying to take me off onto one of the slip roads, onto one of the side roads. But I'm not buying that. I'm not having it because it takes you off there and brings you back on a bit further down. Why bother? It slows you down. Just hit the straight line and just keep going. It's literally taking one exit then coming back onto a motorway from the next one completely pointless but this is a pretty simple one and a lot of the stuff you do get with these blueprints are either going to be get to a destination in x amount of time which some of them are pretty easy others are really stupidly difficult but you make your decision make your judgment on each one you see i guess there's a lot of speed cameras and there's a lot of jumps there's lots and lots of jumps and they're all pretty easy to complete and it doesn't take too long to absolutely fly through this stuff. And I do like the Super 7 because the more you do is you level up. I'm already at level 10, so I've already unlocked all the cars. And yep, I was right. End of a motorway was your destination. Jobs are good and three out of seven completed. Pick up some credits and influence. And again, yes, I like that one because that's that's a pretty straight run. That's pretty easy for people to complete. And I do look at how easy it is for people to complete, to build their XP and to do stuff rather than am I going to design something which is going to just completely annoy you and be impossible to complete. Drag race hit 166 mile an hour. OK. In the Jaguar. This shouldn't be too bad, drag racing doesn't take too long. And when I normally do this stuff to unlock free cars or prizes on Super 7 every week, if there's anything which looks like it's going to take too long, I just swap it out for something which looks like it's going to be quicker to complete. But I'm sort of just playing through what I get for this video in a way. Just so I can sort of go, you know, this is, this is it, this is not tweaking around, not messing about. And we're at the festival site. And my big problem with drag races at this festival site is this. When you start off, it puts you slap bang in front of a barrier, so you need to hit reverse. And although I don't suspect this is going to affect me in the slightest when it comes to completing it, it is a pain. It's an absolute pain that the game does that. And it's not the person designing it that's done that, it's the game that's done it. I've completed that. That took like 10 seconds. That's easy. And again, I like that because that's simple, easy to complete and helps you on your way to unlocking stuff with your XP and whatnot. Back over, it does bug me that you have to sort of just keep going in and out of seasons to change cards. And up next, 2077, get to a destination in McQuadra in under 24 seconds. Okay, 
in a cyberpunk car, it takes 24 seconds or less. Okay, this is, shouldn't be too bad. It should be something which you can just go into, fly through it, get it done, say, next. If you're here and you're looking to get free cars or free emotes or whatever's been given out that week, you don't want to be sort of messing around for an hour, you know, driving around half a map just to do one jump, which you probably won't be able to do because it's all the ramps are set up in a stupid way. But you want simple, nice, easy things to fly through. Yeah, I've got a server issue on that one. Although Xbox Live has been having major problems, and at the moment it is down. Loads of it's down at the time of recording it, which, looking at the clock, is about half past midnight UK time. So, coming up here, got the speed camera just beyond that. There you go, completed with five seconds to spare. So, yeah. That one's easy. That didn't take long. And that's one more ticked off on the Super 7 for this week. Yes, I will like it. Because like I said, I do like 99.9% .9 of this stuff. It has to be particularly annoying or particularly bad for me to actually say I dislike it. Because everybody's put a lot of effort into their stuff and they think it's good and, you know, they, they care about it. And... Just for fun, get to the destination in the Fiesta in under a minute and a half, was it? Okay, this should be interesting. Let's see what they've done with the tune, because this Fiesta's a bit on the wild side if you tune it right or wrong, you know. But let's load over and let's see what we have to do. But we're absolutely hammering it through the Super 7s today. And I do think that... Somewhere in the space of about 15, 15, 16, 17 minutes, you'll be able to get all this done. Get to the destination in under 1 minute 30 seconds. Okay, you're rocking the double denim there. Never mind. Never mind, double denim, not good. Okay, dubiously placed ramp. But it doesn't matter, I've got past it, pushed around, and this is wild. You've turned all the stuff off on it, and it does look like it's got a bit of a drifty tune on it, which could be quite fun, to be fair. Avoid that ramp, I'm not messing around with that. Just go straight cross country, and I've got the destination up there. Minute and a half, I don't realistically see me having too many issues with that. Although bouncing around quite a bit, because obviously no traction, no stability, no ABS, and this is probably running on drift tyres, you know. But nice big jump right down here. This is easy. This is absolutely no problems. I'll do this with quite a lot of time to spare. And give that a spin down through the trees and non-breakable wall. Okay. Take out the lights and there's the finish line. Brilliant. That was easy. It's weird, that first bit of a ramp, but that was that was easy enough, so yeah. And this is me sort of playing through. This is not really me sort of rolling this as a tutorial, because everybody gets different stuff. This is me sort of just playing it through, saying to you guys, look, this is how you unlock this car this week. You will get different stuff. I'll guarantee it, you will get different stuff to this. And this is me just sort of running it through and... You know, just a bit of entertainment. I suspect most of you's probably just switched off after the first two minutes when I've said just run it through and you'll be good to go. P picture. Get to the destination in the quadra in under 41 seconds. Okay. If you are still here, if you press the right bottom button, you can burn your challenge card. You can swap it out. And I'm not going to do it for this because this one looks very very easy and very quick so i'm not going to burn it out because it'll probably swap it out for something truly stupid but if you do get stuff which does look like it might be a bit challenging or stuff you've seen before and you don't get on with just swap it out you know you're fine just swap it out pick something better you can keep swapping it out over and over again until you get something a bit more palatable but 
Harris BTK presents P Picture. Okay, you got pumpkin head. Right, let's see what you need to do on this. It's 41 seconds, I think it was. Okay, 41 seconds, race to destination, 1.1 kilometers. Just a bit of a blast round Edinburgh by the look of it. So coming round, give that a turn round there, not putting too much speed down unfortunately, but you can't really do a lot around some of these little windy roads. But I'm pretty sure I can get to this in, in 41 seconds, which is what I did. That was easy, straightforward, and that's for your Super 7 complete, guys. That is it. So that's all your seven, and this gets you the Lambo Veneno. Yeah, about four million credit car. That's pretty respectable. A few credits, a bit of XP, and jobs are good. And you will get different stuff to me, but this is just me going, you know what, I'm just going to have a bit of fun with it and show you guys this stuff. So if you like Forza stuff, hit that like button, hit subscribe. And until next time, thank you for watching. Take it easy and happy driving.